Let's move on to swimming news now. Lara Finnecker says she is more than happy with winning a bronze medal at her first senior FINA World Championship in Budapest, Hungary. The teenager who outpassed Olympic gold medalist Tatiana Skunmaka at the South African Championships earlier this year is fast becoming a medal contender at the upcoming Commonwealth Games, which will be taking place in Birmingham next month. Our reporter Hotso Selo caught up with her on her arrival to the Aurora Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg. Girl of the moment, Lara Paniker, who recently won a bronze medal at the FINA World Championships. Lara, a very, very, very good feeling of winning a medal at your first ever World Championships. Yes, um, it was amazing just having that experience, getting up on the podium and seeing my flag rise. Um, it's a moment I'll never forget. And, but it's not as easy as it looks. People see you just, uh, you know, flapping your arms and kicking your legs in that pool. But it's a lot of hard work, and I'm sure you and Coach Eugene will cherish it. Yes, it's years and years of work. If you actually think back, it's been 11 years since I started swimming. And if you think it's 11 years of training that brought me to this experience and this moment of winning the medal. And for you, um, how was the whole experience being in Europe, different conditions, and, and just having to work hard against some big names that you were swimming against? Um, it was very nice having to, like, hopping from each country to each country. Um, definitely learning cultures and everything, and learn, like, um, meeting new other swimmers from all over the world, um, learning things from them. They're giving me advice. It's amazing how everyone just comes together if you go on a training camp overseas. It's amazing. And I heard just before you guys left, uh, you had a bit of a, an issue with your appendix. Uh, do, are you healing well? How are you feeling? Yes, I think I'm finally healed now. It took a while. Um, I think my body took a bit of strain. I didn't want to admit it because I wanted to swim the gala and everything. Um, but after we got overseas and swimming the Mare Nostrums, I contracted a lung infection as well. Um, so <laughs> have you Having the appendix and two courses of antibiotics trying to get myself healthy, it was a, it was a challenge. But at, at the end, I think that's why the medal meant so much to me is of everything I went through the past two months. And then just, just mentally and emotionally, the pressure that comes with winning at, a, uh, at swimming at a, a world championship, just take us through it. I mean, we, we, we've never experienced anything like it. Just, just for the viewers out there, how was the experience? The experience was amazing. It's definitely nerve-wracking when you get you walk out onto pool deck and the fans are just screaming and shouting and cheering. Um, the Hungarians are really good at that. Um, so having that, it's, it was um, an amazing experience. Giving that adrenaline, um, yeah, the nerves were, th were there. Don't get me wrong, but it, the excitement was more. And 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 just now, I mean. I mean, I know you've just come back home, you're going to celebrate a little bit with your family, but it's back to business, and, and I'm sure now the focus shifts on to the Commonwealth Games. Yes, back to business tomorrow already, so I'll have the day off and just spend time with my family because I've been away for six weeks, and then tomorrow the training starts for Commonwealth. And how much do you, do you, do you, do you chat with the other South African swimmers that will be going to to, 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 to the Commonwealth Games. I know Tatiana Schoonmaker, Schoonmaker is, is, is one of your rivals, but I'm sure you guys are, are just exchanging notes. Uh, yes, uh, we always, not, not always, but she um, did congratulate me after my race, and Kayleen actually sent me a beautiful message. We, um, we get along really well, and it's ha nice having that support structure from them. Even though we're rivals, um, we all support each other. Are we looking for a one, two, three? Uh, podium finish uh, for the South Africans at the Commonwealth Games? Yes, well, actually, you can't have one, two, three. Um, they're only allowed two through to the finals, so maybe a one, two. That would be amazing. All right, Laura, all the best, and uh, thank you so much for doing so well for the country. That was uh, Lara Panikyar, the Golden Girl of South African Swimming, who just recently won a bronze medal at the FINA World Championships. Well, Lara Finnecook's parents have given praise to the coaching staff behind their daughter's swimming success at the World Championships. She bagged the only medal for Team South Africa and now shifts her focus to the upcoming Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. I'm now joined by Lara Finnecook's parents who were actually with her in Europe when she was achieving her feat of winning a bronze medal at the FINA World Championships. Proud parents indeed, Mom. Yes. You go first. Uh, how happy are you that she was able to do I'm very happy for her because she's been training so hard. It started when she was eight and um, she's given up so much birthday parties, friends parties and 
things so that she could train. So I'm so proud of her and I'm glad that everything came together so nicely. And I think things came so nicely at the SA Champs earlier this year and now she's, you know, pushing on to Europe and uh, to bigger and better things, Daddy? Yes, for sure. Uh, I think we have a good team behind us, from dietitians to, um, you know, sports massager and, and uh, a very good coach. And we're sticking with this coach for a long time and we'll stick with him because the mix is working. She's working very hard and I think that she's going to achieve a lot in future as well. I mean, early on when I spoke to the coach, he said uh, they had a little bit of a scare with an appendix uh, injury and then there was, there was a lung infection in between. I'm sure mommy was pulling her hair out. Yes, yes. I mean, but, but the timing of the appendix was actually good because she had some recovery time, but it did set her, set her back. And um, as far as the lung infection, she was, uh, she was in Europe, so I couldn't manage that because I like to be in control when she gets sick. And I just insisted, I said, now you go to the doctor. So she went to the doctor and they sorted that out. So yeah, it was a bit of a, of a, a worry, but she got through it. And Laura's very, very strong. The, like her dad always says, the muscle in between the ears is very strong. And how important is it for you guys to be there every step of the way and help, uh, you know, cushion some, some blows that might happen in the future and the pressure that comes with representing your country? Yes, I think that, uh, you know, if you can look at us as a family, we have two other siblings, uh, you are and Zander, and, and also a close net of friends that are supporting Lara, and, and we're always there to, to help her. Um, it's not always going easy, because in between, you know, she's still studying with in pocket as well, so she must still finish now. She's a, she has a backlog, she comes back now to, with the next two, two, three weeks, she must write a couple of tests. And, and things like that. So, um, but we're always supportive and we try to be there. O obviously, we can't always be there for her when she's uh, outside the country. But, I mean, uh, if she's back here, her father bribes for her and her mother makes nice food for her and we get everything up to standard again. So, if she goes back and she's in good nick and good shape again. So, I think she missed the siblings and the friends and as well as the our household um, top environments and the dogs. So I think it will be good when, um, when she's back now for about two, three weeks uh, before she goes out again. Are you going to be spoiling her a little bit uh, before she, she hits the gym again with Coach Eugene? As far as food is concerned, definitely. She's got her list ready for mommy. <laughs> so I'll be definitely making some of her favorite foods. Yes, yeah, tonight is definitely a bra. She's been asking for that. Yeah. And, um, I mean, there's been talks of her meddling at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, have you guys as a family spoken about it? Yes, uh, hopefully uh, she'll be there. I think she, she did have a knock with the appendix and the lung infection, but uh, she's now fine. Up there again, I saw her in the water, she's looking good. So it's the small tweaks that they must do now. So hopefully she can, um, can meddle there and, and, and make us all proud. That's the funny Kjark's family saying they'll certainly be enjoying the bride tonight and spoiling their favorite daughter.